The Northern Mountains The Northern Mountain stretch across the northern boundary of our country. They include the Karakoram Range, the Ladakh Range and the Himalayan Range of Mountains. These are the highest mountain ranges in the world. The Himalayas stretch in a long curve for 2,500 kilometers from Jammu and Kashmir in the north to Arunachal Pradesh in the north, east. It is about 400 to 500 kilometers wide in Kashmir and narrows down to about 150, 200 kilometers in the northeast. They form a natural boundary between India and China. Himalaya means the abode of snow, as a large part of Himalayan range is covered with snow throughout the year. Nine of the ten highest mountain peaks in the world are in the Himalayan range. The highest mountain peak is Mount Everest in Nepal. The Himalayas have three mountain ranges, which run parallel to each other. These are the following. A. The Himadri Range The Greater Himalayas B. The Himachal Range The Middle Himalayas C. The Shivalik Range The Outer Himalayas The Himadri The Greater Himalayas It is the northernmost range of the Himalayas. It is the highest of the three ranges, and contains all the highest peaks including Mount Everest. Most peaks in the Himadri always remain covered with snow. Kanchanjunga and Annapurna are two of the highest mountain peaks of this range. Kanchanjunga, 8586 meters, is the highest peak in India. Most of the rivers such as Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra, Indus and Satluj originate from the Himadri. They arise from moving sheets of ice called glaciers. The glaciers start melting when they reach warmer regions. The ice melts and a river originates. The Ganga originates from the Gangotri glacier. The Himachal The Middle Himalayas The Himachal range lies to the south of the Himadri range. The mountains are not as high as in the Himadri range. This region consists of many forest-covered mountain ranges and fertile and beautiful valleys. Only few peaks remain covered with snow throughout the year. This range consists of many hill stations such as Masuri, Shimla and Darjeeling and valleys such as Srinagar and Nainital. Due to large-scale deforestation in this region, for wood and farmland, many forests are destroyed. The government has made several protected forest areas such as the Jim Corbett National Park to stop deforestation and protect animals. Large-scale tree plantation has also been started. The Shivalik The Outer Himalayas The southernmost and the lowest range of the Himalayas is known as the Shivalik Hills. It covers the lower hills of Kangara, Hamirpur, Yuna, Bilaspur and lower parts of Mandi, Solan, and Sirmor. The famous places in this range are Paota Valley, Kangara, Dharamshala, Palampur, Dalhousie, and Chamba. The area of the south of Shivalik range is called the Tarai region. The annual rainfall in this region is very heavy. The climate and soil of this region is ideal for the cultivation of maize, wheat, ginger, sugarcane, fruits and potatoes. Deforestation in this range and the Tarai region for farmland and timber has destroyed many forests. To stop deforestation and to protect animals, Several national parks have been set up by the government. The Importance of the Himalayas The Himalayas are very important for our country. They help us in many ways. Himalayas act as a huge wall and protect our northern borders and thus save us from enemies. They stop the monsoon winds from going further north and cause heavy rainfall to the northern plains of India. Himalayas protect us from the very cold winds blowing from Central Asia. The Himalayan forest gives shelter to different wild animals and also provides timber and herbs. Rivers originating from Himalayas provide water and make land fertile. Dams over these rivers produce electricity. The northern mountains include several states of India, like Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, 
Darjeeling, the northern part of West Bengal, Assam, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Meghalaya, and Arunachal Pradesh. Jammu and Kashmir Jammu and Kashmir is almost mountainous. The climate in this region is very cold. This union territory has two capitals, Srinagar and Jammu. Srinagar is the summer capital and Jammu is the winter capital. The people of Jammu and Kashmir have different lifestyles, depending on the region they live in. The local people of Kashmir are known as Kashmiris. Jammu and Kashmir is the union territory where more than seven languages are spoken. But the most spoken languages are Dogari in Jammu and Ladakhi, Urdu and Kashmiri in Kashmir. The Dal and the Olar are the famous lakes in the state. Many houseboats float on these lakes. Small boats called Shikaras, are used as floating shops. Kashmir is very cold in winter. So people keep a small pot with burning coal, called Kangri to keep themselves warm. Men and women commonly wear loose gown called Piran and Salwar. People grow rice, maize, rajma, vegetables, fruits and saffron in summer. In winter, they make handicrafts from wood. Brass and papier mache. Shawls and carpets made by them are popular all over the world. Srinagar, Pahalgam, Gulamarg, the temple of Vaishno Devi, and the Amarnath Kewa are some of the famous places. Eid, Shivratri, and Navratri are the main festivals of the state. Himachal Pradesh Himachal Pradesh, with its snow covered mountains, is a beautiful state. Its capital is Shimla. Thousands of tourists visit the hill stations of Shimla, Dalhousie, Kullu and Manali every year. The toy train which takes people from Kalka to Shimla is a special attraction. Here, most people are farmer. They grow rice, maize, barley, fruits and vegetables. Some rear sheep and goats. Many types of woolen, carpets, blankets and bags are woven here. The climate here is ideal for the growth of fruits like apples, cherries, plums, apricots and peaches. The traditional clothes of women include tight pajamas and loose kurtas, with scarves around their heads. Men wear tight pajamas and loose shirts, with colorful caps. People speak Hindi and Pahari language. The main festivals are Dashahara and Diwali. The Dashahara celebrations of Kullu are famous. Uttarakhand Uttarakhand was once known as the abode of God. This hill state consists of Garhwal and Kumau ranges. Dehradun is the capital of the state. Musso Uri in Garhwal and Nainital in Kumau are important hill stations. The slopes are covered with thick forests of pine, oak, devdaryo and fir trees. They are home to a variety of birds and animals. Gangotri, Yamunotri, Badrinath and Kedarnath are important places of religious interest. This place is also called Devabhumi or the land of gods. Sikkim Gangtok is the capital of this small hill state. Kanchanjunga in Sikkim is the third highest mountain peak in the world. The state is famous for its orchids. Most of the people here belong to the Lepcha. Bhutia or Nepali tribe. The women of the state traditionally wear long skirts called baku and colorful jewelry made from beads. West Bengal West Bengal is a state in eastern India. On its eastern border lies Bangladesh, to the northeast lies the states of Assam and Sikkim and the country Bhutan, and to southwest lies the state of Odisha. To the west, it borders the state of Jharkhand and Bihar and to the northwest, Nepal. Darjeeling is a hill station in West Bengal having beautiful hill resorts. It is situated in the northern part of West Bengal. It has many tea gardens on the hill slopes. The Northeastern States The Seven Sisters Towards the east, the Himalayan ranges spread across the seven states, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya. Nagaland, Manipur, Tripura and Mizoram, they are called the Seven Sisters. Assam is the biggest state in this region. Its capital is Dispur. 
It has large tea plantations where thousands of people work. Assam is famous for its silk. Parts of Assam are covered by the northern plains. Shillong, the capital of Meghalaya, is a beautiful hill station. The state receives the heaviest rainfall in the country. People of the state belong to the Garo, Khasi, Jaintia tribes. Meghalaya means the abode of clouds. Nagaland is the home of the Nagas. Its capital is Kohima. The Nagas wear colorful shawls of different designs. We can identify the tribe of Nagas by seeing the pattern of their shawls. The capital of Manipur is Imphal. Manipuri dance is famous all over the country. Manipur means the land of jewels. Mizoram means land of the hill people. It is situated in the south of the region. Its capital is Aizol. The main language of the state is Mizo. Mizoram has the second highest literacy rate in India. Tripura is surrounded by Bangladesh on the three sides. Its capital is Agartala. The people of the state make beautiful things from cane and bamboo.